Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. All right, I have been trying to do this VR for probably the last half hour. Let's see if I can make it all the way through without being interrupted, okay? All righty, so <laughs> this is my VR to my simple path. Um, she has a VR, or she has a VR. I can't English. I just can't. Okay, bear with me. So, I saw Aveline Timeless do this VR to My Simple Path, and it sounded really cool, so I wanted to jump on the train. So, this is my VR to My Simple Path, and it's hashtag tarot cardamancy firsts. And there are five questions. One, when and how did I first find out I had a love for cards? Okay, so I grew up very close to a place, a spiritual community called Lilydale, New York. Now, Lilydale is a spiritual community. There are about 30 houses. It's gated. It's out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it is only open to the public during uh, the summer months, like July to the beginning of September. And when they open the community, that's when you can go in and you can have your cards read. You can see a psychic. You can see a medium. Um, they have a lovely spiritual garden there. They do all kinds of activities, including rituals. They have a store. They have a restaurant. There's all kinds of, of cool things um, in Lilydale. And I remember going there with my mom when I was about seven or eight. And we went there every single year until I was about 16. Every year we would go and we would either have our cards read or a psychic or a medium. And now the psychics and the mediums were fun, but I like the tarot cards. Uh, to see them lay out the cards and then to read from these pictures. I mean, that was kind of cool to, you know, a seven or eight year old. So that is uh, the first time I remember seeing tarot cards and I was smitten with them at that point. Uh, question number two, when and how did you get your first card deck? So fast forward about, you know, less than 10 years after that and uh, I married a military man and he got orders to Virginia and I was looking for a metaphysical shop and a boy I found one it was like something out of the dark ages the house it was literally a house they converted into a store the bottom part was the store and they lived on the on the second floor and it was a couple of sisters uh, both widowers, um, but uh, inside, gothic all the way. It was so totally cool. And both sisters read tarot cards. They had a place in the back, um, and they both dressed and looked like gypsies. It was, it was such a cool store. Um, it's, it's no longer there um, because the sisters at that point, that was 20 some odd years ago, were already advanced in age. But um, I feel so lucky that I was able to, oh, it was called the Old Witch Shop. And it was S-H-O-P-P-E, the old fashioned way. Anyway, I went in there and they had loaded with witchy stuff. And of course, I found the tarot cards. So that's where I got my first card deck. So question number three. Um, how was it at first getting to know the cards? Okay, that was difficult. That was really difficult for my brain to wrap around looking at these pictures. And now mind you, the first, you know, they, they wanted me to go with the Rider weight, And it, I couldn't deal with those pictures. I just could not deal with and that bright yellow just completely turned me off. So they told me, well, find a deck in here that you're drawn to and, and take it. So at that time, I had seven cats. So, um, <laughs> so of course, I went for Tarot of the Cat People, uh, which is a fabulous deck. I love it to this day. Um, 
So getting to know the cards was a very difficult trying to wrap my head around the the symbolism in the cards and um so that took that took quite a bit of work uh you know working with it every day handling the cards doing some memorization those kinds of things so yeah that was hard um question number four what method do did i use uh to get to know and bond with a new deck my questions are down here by the way <laughs> So the method I learned uh, back then was that you're supposed to sleep with the cards for three days. That's how you form a bond with the cards. And so um, I would put them under my pillow for three days. So nowadays I do the exact same thing, except I don't put them under my pillow. They're in the bed next to me probably, but uh, not under the pillow so I don't crush them. But um, yeah, and uh, my cards actually stay in the bed as long as I'm working with them. And then when I stop working with them, they go back on the shelf in their bag or their box or something. So that's what I do. And then question number five, anyone in the family a reader? No. Nope. Only me. Um, I pretty much come from a, a household of organized religion and uh yeah so um nope nobody else is a card reader except for me so there are my tarot cardomancy first vr my simple path thank you very much and uh much love and we'll see you guys next time